I have some good news. Good news for our viewers, that is. Uh, due to some recent comments I've gotten on a video I made almost exactly a month ago uh, about uh, Junction City, Texas, or no, it's just called Junction, Texas. Um, you know, I, I started off by saying there was some bad behavior going on in that park and that they were going to, uh, the city council had voted to close that uh, city park for, uh, to overnight camping. Well, it seems the bad behavior may be more on the part of the city employee, uh, the guy that takes care of the park himself. There's the bad behavior. It seems he's going around telling our veers that uh, just Let's get it. I'll show these couple of comments here, and you make up your own mind what's going on here. Okay. Uh, there's a comment here on the, left on my Facebook, uh, Dave's RV Life Facebook page. I'm, I don't do a lot on that page, so you're probably really not missing much. Uh, but Laura writes, I'm one of the many residents of Junction, Texas, who are against the overnight, uh, the no overnight camping and closing the park at night. I've read your comment on the free campsites dot net. I'd love to review, let others know that yeah, that may be over. Um, and seen uh, the YouTube video about it, about being told the city council voted to close the park to camping. We also heard they plan on closing the park at night. Um, contact was made with some of the officials, and they have said that they have not voted on, or um, either subject has been on the agenda yet. Uh, she believes me and wanted to know if the park worker said anything about also closing the park at night. The people of the community want to keep the park open at night and for camping. We can't let some people's actions ruin it for all. Thank you, Laura. Yes, the, uh, uh, the bad few can, you know, ruin it for others. Um, anyway, I replied no, that he did not mention anything about closing it at night, but... Uh, so, why? <laughs> Another uh, other comments on the, the video itself. This is not tr this is not true. It's not closing down. It was never on the agenda. It was discussed. Oh, it was a discussion brought up by the, an employee, probably the park employee. Uh, <laughs> another comment. This guy, our only park employee, is full of it. Note the video was produced in January, and the lone park employee, uh, the, the one that said he was to take the signs down by the end of the week because the council has already voted, uh, didn't even make his proposal to the council until their February meeting. It is possible council has made up their mind, but as of last weekend, it was still not even officially on the council agenda for March. So there it says it was, actually it was the lone park employee's idea. Yeah, didn't even make his proposal to the council until their February meeting. Now, he's going around and is told, hang on, wait, wait. This, oh yeah, and another comment. This has not happened. Not sure where you heard this. The park is still open. Well, I'm not sure where I heard this. I heard it from the park employee, uh, a city employee that takes care of the park. That's where I heard it. But I'm not making any of this up. I didn't make any assumptions. This information told to me, you know, we, we assume that people wearing the uniform and driving the city uh, of Junction, you know, the, one of the city trucks that takes care of the park, when he's talking to people, represents, yeah, you know, it's telling the truth. How about that? Okay. Another nice comment here. I'm so sorry that you, uh, I'm so sorry you were told that. He obviously has been telling a lot of people that. Our city council has not voted to end overnight camping yet. It hasn't even been put on the agenda yet. So many, so many of us will fight it. 
so please keep visiting our park and voice your opinions as to why it should stay open. Well, number one reason is just accommodating and welcoming to uh, bring travelers. Uh, gives them a reason to stop in your town and uh, stay and maybe explore a little bit, shop around, uh, buy the gasoline, shop at the grocery stores, eat at the restaurants, buy your donuts from the donut shop. Uh, and it brings money into the town. I wish more towns would do that. I think it would be good for the town. Uh, one last comment is actually from the freecampsites.net. It was right after I had left my comment. Uh, stayed the night of January 31st. Was greeted by the Lone Park employee, Hoyt, that might be his name or something, who politely told me the city council has recently decided to eliminate camping there due to several bad apples. It was a lovely place. So that goes back to, he's obviously telling other RVers that. It's not just me. I didn't imagine it. I didn't make it up. So. I don't know. You decide. You know, an employee of any, or, you know, any organization or park or employer or I don't know. You shouldn't tell non truths. Okay. Take it upon yourself to. I'm thinking he don't like RVers, that park employee. And if you don't, maybe you should ask for uh, another position and work for the city. Maybe go dig ditches and fill in potholes or something. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to update that. I'm going to link this to. I'm going to post this as a suggested video at the end of the original video, so anybody that comes along and sees that, maybe they'll be directed to this and it'll help clear things up. So, that's it. Short video, just to maybe get things straightened up. Thanks for watching. Well, no Bella. Next video, I'll see you.